What's up everybody, it's Todd B from Tennessee, and wouldn't you know it, I actually am in Tennessee today. How about that? This is my office, that's my, that's my globe. The thing makes me really happy for, for some reason. Um, and yes, I did put on this shirt just to talk to you guys today, so you're welcome mom, if you're watching this. Um, listen, I wanted to talk to you today about the state of your creative career, or your creative calling. Recently, I've been talking to some of my professors from back in college and asking how the graduates are, asking how the face of journalism looks right now. And they'll say things like, oh, you know, we had somebody get published in the Huff Huffington Post, but they didn't get paid for it. And my thought was, of course they didn't get paid for it. Listen, we live in a world where a nobody like you or me can publish something online and connect with millions of people. And now to say that suddenly you kind of deserve to get paid for that? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's the way the world works. And the reason that I don't think the way the world works is because I'm looking at this career long term, right? I don't mind that I'm not getting paid for my work. I've been blogging for a year and a half, making these videos, writing the book that I'm gonna link down below, doing the, connecting with these people, setting up the blog for a year and a half. Actually, if you look at it, I've made negative money but my heart is in this so much that I can't help but do it and when I get that viral post I'm not going to expect it to change my life I'm not going to expect an email from Time Magazine to change my life I'm not going to expect to hit one spike of traffic and then all of a sudden I've got it made the world doesn't work that way not anymore so I want you to think today if you're looking for that next little boost, or if you think, oh, if I just get picked up by this publication, it's gonna change my life. Oh, if I just get this many people to share, or this many people to like, or this many people to read my stuff, or look at my photographs, I'm sorry to say that that's not going to change your life. I think the internet does a great job of telling us that we've all got a shot. I'm a kid from Dixon, Tennessee. If you've ever heard of Dixon, Tennessee, I would be amazed. But I have a shot, right? Because I'm connected just like you are. But at the same time, we can't expect our presence on the internet to be our entitlement. There are hundreds of millions of people out there doing the same thing. And so for you to be successful or for you to even make a dent in the universe, you have to think of your career or your creative calling or whatever you want to call it in longer terms than just a week or a month or a year. I want to be writing when I'm 90 using like, I don't know, a brain machine that like helps me, helps me type out the words or whatever. But that's, that's my vision for my life. I don't see myself ever putting this down or ever stopping. And that's why the lows and the highs don't get me down as much. I just wanted to leave you with that thought today. Take this challenge into the next week or two of your life. Think about what you're doing and ask yourself, if you'd want to be doing it when you're 80 and 85 and 90. Because if the answer is no, and you're just trying to get some cheap money for your art, it may be time to rethink things. Much love as always, and I'll see you soon.